The alarm clock sitting in front of your screen right now probably isn't even worth making a video of to the general public. Because it is the very definition of a no-frills alarm clock. But the funny thing is, is that's why I'm making a video about it. Because I've got all kinds of alarm clocks, clock radios. I've got all kinds of them in my possession. I've got all kinds of them that I've made videos of on this channel. There are not very many of them that come close to the simplicity of this particular device here. This monolithic brown slab that I would presume is probably from the 90s. I'm not 100% sure. Unfortunately, this, this right here kind of covers up most of it. I know it's out of focus. There's not much I can really do about that. It's got manual focus. Or actually, it's got no focus at all. It's fixed focus. But uh, here it is, this Micronta alarm clock. Unfortunately, I don't think I can peel off this tag. At least it won't come off nicely. I'll see if I can get the tag off, but you can see that's what I paid for it. Well, it didn't really work all that well. We have a serial number now, 101628. Doesn't really mean much to me. 8 watts. 356. I bet the model was on this sticker that was right here, which got ruined. So, oh, no, it's right up at the top. I'm completely blind. It's a Micronta 63-813. Now, for those that are not familiar with the Micronta brand, uh, it was owned by the Radio Shack Corporation. In fact, it was not the Radio Shack Corporation. It was the Tandy Radio Shack Corporation, which, if you'll notice, on the bottom... That's what it says. Well, sort of. I kind of have it right. Custom manufactured in the USA for Radio Shack, a division of Tandy Electronics Limited, Barry, Ontario. It lists an address. Obviously, that's probably a Starbucks these days, but, you know, back then it was Tandy's headquarters. But this thing just screams early 1990s to me. Brown color. Maybe even late 1980s. Just the... It's utilitarian. There's no frills about this thing whatsoever. Just the facts, ma'am. And there's something to be said for an alarm clock that doesn't have anything fancy. You know, there's no stupid Bluetooth. There's no USB port. There's no phone charger. There's no... I don't know. It's not an atomic clock. None of that stuff. Doesn't change colors or anything like that in the middle of the night. There's no mood lighting, there's no anything else. It's just the facts. Now, it looks like it is a little bit broken. Um, I'm not really sure what's up with that. You may have noticed that it does do some weird things every once in a while. That's because I'm actually pushing down on this thing. Um, but you can see here this cover, which is over top of the buttons. We have fast set, we have slow set, alarm set, it's also snooze, which is why when you push on this, you can see there that it's got all the openings except for that one. That's your snooze button, as well as alarm on off. I like the fact that it doesn't have rounded uh, digits. It's actually just kind of square. Uh, the reminds me a lot of that Juliet, I think it's an EL1984 that I have in my possession that I've set off every New Year's. That one with the really loud, that the really loud 60 hertz alarm has got a pretty similar display in it. So, it reminds me a lot of that. So, you know, mid to late 80s would probably be a pretty good estimate for the age of this thing. Again, just based on the styling alone. Not much else I can really think of to say about it. So, I've never managed to get the alarm on this thing to go off. But I'm going to try and set it. And we'll see if it'll actually work for me on this video. Okay. I did manage to get it to go off. I think it's got a problem. Again, probably related to the fact that it's a little bit busticated. 
I'm not sure if you could hear it on the video. But, uh, yeah. It's a pretty unique alarm sound. It's too bad it's so quiet. Probably because it's broken. I'd imagine it would be a lot louder if it wasn't broken. There you go. It's possible as well that this... Well, actually it wouldn't be because it's got the, uh... It's got a power cord, so it's not really a travel alarm clock. Um, although I suppose you could really, you could probably use it as that in like a hotel room or something. Or if you put it in your camper. But, you're not going to use it in a tent or anything like that. Either way, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say about the Micronta 63-813 uh, digital clock. So, thank you for watching, and if you've got any comments, Feel free to leave them down below.